Good morning. It is the final week of half marathon training. I kind of want to be tapering. Ooh, it looks cool. Zone three. Most amount of hate that I've ever gotten. Hello my friends, just quickly wanted to interrupt because I have some exciting news. I now have a discount code with Runner. Runner is the app that I use for all of my running programs. Um, you guys ask all the time what I use and I find Runner to be so easy. It has helped me progress so much. So if you do want to try Runner, you can use the code Connor and that will get you two weeks free. This video is not sponsored, um, but that is so exciting. So just wanted to let you know. Good morning, welcome back to my channel, hello! We are finally here, it is the final week of half marathon training. It is week 11, because race day is next week, next Saturday. Absolutely wild, I feel like it just flew by. So I wanted to bring you along for my final week of training. It is Tuesday today, it is easy run day. We have nine kilometers in the books. Is that what people say, in the books, on the agenda? Usually when you do follow a running training plan, you tend to do what's called a taper before your race. So my long run last weekend was 12 kilometers, this weekend it'll be 10, but I think I'm feeling okay. I got some new PBs in my last, um, what's it called, run. I feel like I've learned a lot from this training block, which is always good. If you don't learn from what you're doing in life, like, what are you doing? <laughs> it was a bit of a struggle to get up this morning, not gonna lie. It's like 6.17 and the sun is rising. But that is winter for you in Australia, or at least in Queensland. I looked at the weather forecast. It's meant to be a high of 26 on Thursday or something. 26 degrees. But I'm so excited to bring you through this final week because technically last week doesn't, not last week, because technically the next week doesn't count. I think I've got like two runs and then it's race day. So obviously I'll have a separate race day vlog and whatnot. Pray that I just don't poo my pants. I think that's the one. But I don't poo my pants and I don't have anxiety because that just ruins everything. I need to get dressed. I'm not in the most mood to do this right now, but it's an easy run, so we're chilling. I got a heap of new Gymshark bits that I'm really excited to wear. I also did not bring that many like sports bras with me. Oopsie. I like these though because they're like, they don't cover my wrist. Just a little bit different. Oh, this is perfect. It's very like thin. My toxic trait is I spend so long getting ready to go for runs. Should I wear a hat today? I almost find easy runs not harder to do than other runs, but they're just different. I know some people like to not wear their watch at all and just run comfortably, but I find that I will just run too quickly if I'm not like looking at my pace. But what I actually do is most of the time I will have my watch on my heart rate screen because I swear anytime I like remotely change anything or if I'm not like actually focusing on it, my heart rate will just go straight into like my threshold without even trying because I, I don't know. I just, I see some people run with their easy runs and their heart rate is like 130 or 120 something. And I'm like, that is insane. I'm not at that point yet. So when my heart rate is like there, I can kind of like see it. And if it gets a little bit too high, I can be like, oh, 
pull back a bit, just like go slower. And I find that's really helpful. I found that run to be a little bit boring though. I was like there when we hit five kilometers, I was like, ugh, I feel like I'm going so slowly. This is taking forever. But when I look at my zones, it says 94% of that was in zone three. One day it would be so good to have most of that in zone two, but my average heart rate was, I believe, 153 beats per minute and my maximum heart rate was 160. So that's pretty good for my easy runs. Why are you not sinking to my Strava? I'm gonna do a little bit of stretching because I do find that my hip flexors get a bit sore when I run and it would be so cool to actually go to like a running clinic and have your running like analyzed just for the purpose of minimizing injury honestly because I could be doing something when I run that in the long term is not great but I do my best <laughs> oh oh that stretching okay starting off with an upper body session I do usually start with legs but we're doing upper body first in this week beginning with the good old shoulder press I swear I never progress in shoulder press but that is because I'm not consistent with it so I generally stick around the 10 kilo mark every now and then I feel really strong and we can get the 12 and a halves up but usually we stick with the 10s and then I was supposed to do some pull-ups couldn't do them in this gym so I'm doing some lap pull downs instead just making sure I'm really controlling the weight and really like turning on my lats and whatnot you know I also have no idea how heavy I was going because the weights were kind of numbered from one to ten or something but it wasn't in kilos so who knows and then moving on to some barbell rows I personally love these for my back again not sure how heavy this is because it's a what are they called it's not the straight bar, but it's the one that's kind of curvy and there's just some 10 kg plates on the side. And then I was supersetting this with some push-ups. My God, have I like lost all my strength when it comes to push-ups because I haven't done them in ages. I used to do them a lot when I did group fitness. Um, so yeah, I definitely had to go on my knees a few times to get, I think it was 15 reps out. <laughs> but I always tried to start the set on my toes and then drop down when I could not possibly do any more and I was struggling, so. And then finally, this was supposed to be with a barbell, but we didn't have a barbell, so we're doing it with some dumbbells, just some classic bicep curls, keeping tension on the biceps, struggling with those last ones, shake out the arms, and then I'm supersetting that with a tricep, is this, is it a tricep extension? Really good for the triceps, and I'm pretty sure I was meant to do um, as many reps as possible until failure. And don't be afraid of dropping the weight like mid-set if you can't finish the reps. So that's what I did there. Just dropped it down to the to the five kilo, because yeah. Okay, welcome to my Wednesday workout. We are doing legs today, starting off with some quotation marks squats. This is supposed to be with a barbell. However, the apartment gym doesn't have one. So I just chucked some, I think, are these 12 and a half? Some, I think they're 12 and a half on my shoulder and just did squats like that. And then we are moving into Bulgarians. I love Bulgarians. They're probably one of the best exercises for me personally for glute growth. And they are really, really great for running. You want to think of it like an escalator rather than going up and down. And you're going to really feel it in your glutes. And then we are supersetting that with some RDLs. The way that I've stopped feeling these in my back is I've kind of bent my legs a little bit rather than keeping them straighter. And I find that it really helps and just like making sure your glutes are turned on and focusing on that mind to muscle connection it makes a huge difference and then the final exercise we are doing some walking lunges these ones weren't too bad lunges are always the thing that kind of spikes my heart rate and then I was supersetting these with some lying leg curls for the hammies trying to kind of go until failure here and if you find that you get cramping in your legs when you do these make sure you keep your feet flexed and that really helps with that be honest with you this week is so jumbled and anytime I go to film like a workout or like some sort of routine my week just always goes awry it's Friday and I've only done one run this week so far which I don't think is a bad thing because I kind of want to be tapering
Hello, I'm just checking in because I realize some of you might actually not know what a taper really means. So when I say I'm tapering, I'm essentially pulling back the amount of work that I'm doing in my training to kind of get me ready for race day because obviously you don't want to be training super, super hard, doing a lot of hours or a lot of mileage right up until your race, but you want to be as fresh as possible. It might seem counterintuitive because you think like, no, you should be continuing your fitness, but this is what everyone else has to do. So that's what I'm doing. So the workload for this week is a little bit less, mainly being the long run is a lot shorter. Even for this week, I only have two runs. One of them is an interval session and one of them is my, is an easy 5k and that is it. So just wanted to say that in case you were confused. And I think honestly, one of the things that I will change next time I do a training block for something is run three times a week. I think four times a week is just a little bit much for me and wanting to incorporate strength training. So to be honest, I think I won't, wouldn't be that mad if this week I only did three days. Normally I run on a Tuesday, a Wednesday, a Friday and a Sunday. This week I've actually done a Pilates class and a cycle class. I didn't film it because I don't do those regularly. So my abs are really sore, like my bum is sore, which is not the smartest thing to do was just try new things like right before you have a half marathon. The good thing about the runner app is you can rearrange the workouts depending on what you want to do or what days you want to run them. So I'm trying to decide whether I want to do an interval session or a tempo run. Both of them are pretty much the same distance. One's eight kilometers, one's 8.7. Although I never end up running the actual distance because it always takes, it always takes me longer. To be honest with you, I'm leaning towards the intervals, which I never thought I would say. My go-to pre-run snack for the past couple runs has been two rice cakes with half a banana on it. I really like it. Let's get sorted. Trying to film a reel and a YouTube at the same time is difficult. But I actually got this free train vest in the mail the other day and I haven't tried it yet. I've seen heaps of people use this. Lucy Davis wears this all the time. There is one slight issue, the phone section. It fits my phone, but it just doesn't slide in and out like the most easy and because i like to film content when i run that's a little bit difficult but that's a very much a first one problem so it looks cool so excited to give that a whirl it's not super early so it's probably not that cold so i don't necessarily need a a long sleeve however that might rub me all right this is the base layer I've gone for lululemon shorts gymshark um sports bra i wish i brought like a really lightweight shirt <laughs> to put over the top all right, we've got two cameras going at once here. This is what the vest looks like. So sorry about the construction. <laughs> I went shopping yesterday and I tried on the Nike like Air Maxes. Is that what they're called? Air Zoom Fly. The like, what are they called? I literally can't think of a name. And I don't know if I just have weird feet, but I find that so many shoes have like arch support, but I just know that that would not work for my feet. Same goes with Hoka. They look so cool and they're so bouncy, but they just don't work for my feet. Can't forget the watch. There's a little pocket for your keys. It's not gonna jingle around. All right, time to warm up. I personally find that my hips get sore when I run. So I'm really trying to like work on strengthening my like, hip flexors. You're a waterfall, I'm a fire. No surprise, we don't go together. But it took us a while before we figured it out. What a shame. I think that went pretty darn well. I feel like my last couple interval or tempo runs have been really, really difficult or just, just not feeling good. But once again, I made the mistake of like not reading what I had to do thoroughly because I think this is the third time that's happened to me, but I had to do the working sets twice. So it was eight lots of 200 meter reps, but I had to do that twice. So it was kind of like 16 lots of 200 meter reps with walking rests in between each rep. And I only realized that I had to do it again, I think at like the eighth rep of the first set. So 
I was like, oh, okay, we got to do this again. But I think 200 meters is like the perfect distance for intervals if you're going quite quick because it's only 200 meters. Like that's just what I kept telling myself. Like it's just, it's only 200 meters. It's only 200 meters. But I did get progressively faster and faster when it came to my reps. I don't know why. In my final rep, I'm pretty sure I hit sub four minute pace. Never seen a sub four anything on my watch before. So that was really cool. And I felt good. I felt like I could push myself. It was hard but it wasn't so hard that I couldn't do it so that's always a good sign one thing oh my god there's people on jet skis oh, I want to go to jet ski and also just to kind of go off on a tangent here one thing that I find significantly influences my running performance is sleep which is pretty self-explanatory but yesterday I had to have a nap in the afternoon because I had a cycle class in the morning and I didn't have enough sleep and I just felt like crap and then this morning I slept in a little bit longer but went to bed a lot earlier and I just felt so much better. Prioritizing your sleep and making sure you're getting enough hours significantly influences how you run. Same goes with how you're fueling your runs and recovery. It's just wild how much everything influences it. So make sure you're getting enough sleep. Highly recommend getting a sunrise alarm clock too. I feel like it just wakes me up so much more gently even though I did snooze it quite a few times this morning. By 9 30 most nights I am out for the count because I like to wake up between like 5 and 6. I really try to get to sleep between 8 30 and like 9 15. If I can be asleep before 9 p.m that is so good even though that's so early but it just makes such a difference. Anyway those are my running thoughts. Oh and I'm gonna go to the gym tomorrow so that'll be my third strength session of the week and it will be a lower body session. Good morning. Happy Sunday. I also think the next time I train for something, I'm gonna make my long run on a Saturday morning because I find myself always on a Sunday night, like not wanting to, not a Sunday night, a Saturday night, not wanting to do anything because I've got my long run the next day. So change that. I'm up early this time. It's been a bit of a struggle, probably because it's just so dark. 4, 6 a.m., 10 kilometer long run. In my head, I'm like, that's fine. That's not even that bad. Let's go. 
run complete. Don't mind the sweat patch, but running is so weird sometimes. Like it can feel really inconsistent. Like last Sunday I had such a good run. This Sunday, not so much. I think I started off okay with the pacing and then it just got a bit hard. The pacing just felt really hard today. I was in my head um, a lot. I also had to stop and do a poo which was kind of annoying and I almost feel like my sickness is coming back like it was getting really good and now I feel like I've taken a step back so I definitely think I'll have a bit of a break <laughs> post half marathon to hopefully try and like just get better got it done nonetheless and it was fine I think I did it in like one hour and three minutes plus a toilet break in there <laughs> but yeah glad we got it done i did have one other run on my training plan which i'm not gonna do which i'm not mad about because i'm supposed to be tapering anyway and i think my body just wasn't able to do four runs this week so that is more than fine so yeah i'm gonna have a shower it's actually my mum's birthday today so we are gonna go play um some pop pop with my family i always like immediately take my heart rate monitor strap off because it's like tight but i am liking this vest even though I can't fit my phone with my phone case on it in there. Okay, it is now Monday the following week and I wanted to just give a quick little recap of the video and just give you all my thoughts on how I'm feeling for my race on Saturday. I have absolutely loved filming the running content and it's something that I really want to continue filming and I have gotten some comments saying like I'm not enjoying the content it's not for me and I really understand that but I also have had so many of you guys who really enjoy the running content which makes me so happy and I've gotten you guys into running that is truly like what I want to do on here is inspire people to try things that make them happy. I also want to say a huge thank you to everyone who has sent me a message encouraging me about the half marathon or the running journey or just sending a nice message. I always appreciate it, especially after my last video. Um, it's probably the most amount of hate that I've ever gotten on a video before, which was kind of hard to deal with. But I also need to remember that I know who I am as a person. I know the decisions that I make are for the best and I know that I'm a good person so um but regardless oh my gosh I'm getting so sidetracked I don't think I'm feeling nervous about the half marathon yet I think my nervousness is coming out in the form of like irritation and frustration I feel like today I've woken up in such a bad mood and I think that is nervousness for the half marathon <laughs> um which is so weird I think I'm just feeling yeah, like I'm on edge, so it's coming out as irritability. So, don't know. I definitely think on the day I'm going to be shitting my pants, but we will cross that bridge when we come to it. Obviously, the next video that I upload will be the half marathon race. If you do see me at the Gold Coast half marathon, please say hello. I would love to meet you. If I look like I have resting bitch face, just still come up and say hi. I think I just need to completely remove all expectations for time pace if i have to go to the toilet or not just let all of that go don't worry about it just eat all the carbs this week chill out a little bit more and just have fun because it's my first half marathon i know a lot of people say like things they wish they did for a marathon or a half marathon is just like enjoy it and take it all in because you can only do a first half marathon once you know Hopefully this is like the gateway into me doing other races and I'm excited. I really should pick out what I'm going to wear, like specifically my race kit, just get all my things sorted. I really hope you guys did enjoy this final week of half marathon training. Stay tuned for my next video and as always, hope you're having a lovely day or night wherever you are in the world and I'll see you in my next one. Bye! But I'm blessed Didn't know it take me past my destiny You're behind me with the rest Cause I'm a mess